What's up everyone? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lainey and it's time again. It's Wednesday again, episode three, part three of Obi-Wan Kenobi is today. I'm just ready to see this. I know that there's been a lot of theories, a lot of speculations on the show already and I love it. I also want to say, I just want to take a minute to thank you all so, so, so much for all the positive feedback you've been giving me, all the warm welcomes you've been giving me with my new channel and welcoming me to YouTube. You guys have been really, really great. I love responding to you guys in the comments. Welcome to all my new subscribers. Thank you so, so, so much. You guys have been really supportive and there's so much more to come. So thank you so much and I can't wait to just build this community with you guys. Before we get started today, I wanna to talk about a few things. There are a lot of theories on Reva, on Reva's character. There is a theory that she was one of the younglings in episode one, the first scene of Order 66. I have to say, I completely agree with that theory. I had the same thought after my rewatch a few times. I think there's absolutely a significance to that scene, and I think it definitely has to do with Reva. So we don't really know what her motives are yet, but I think the reason that she knows who Vader is is because maybe she saw him in the temple when Anakin was cutting down all the younglings and some Jedi being Anakin, you know. I don't really know why she has this obsession with Obi-Wan yet. Some people think that she's just trying to find Obi-Wan to prove herself to Vader or maybe find him so that she has the opportunity to get close to Vader so that she can get some revenge on him maybe for killing people that she knew during Order 66, I don't know. That's all I'm really gonna say about that because I really just wanna see what happens. I wanna see how it unfolds. I don't really think there are any other theories that I have, but I do wanna say that I've really been enjoying, I think her name is Vivian, the little actress. I am really enjoying her portrayal of Leia. I think she's such a little spitfire. She's really cute. I love that she is very witty and I like that she can go back and forth with Obi-Wan and kind of bring back that sense of fun in him a little bit again. I think we're all ready. Let's just get right into it. Wow. He's coming, master. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. Ugh. His castle? Fail me, and you will not live to regret it. Hmm. I love Darth Vader so much. It is so cool seeing him back. So now we know a little bit of what Reva's seeking. The Grand Inquisitor job. Was that Hayden? He's seeing Anakin. This is crazy. <laughs> this is so crazy. I was wondering how we were really gonna see Hayden, you know? Send out the probes, do it now. That's right. It's funny that he Are told Leia to stay quiet and now she's doing all the talking. Are you my real father? <gasps> oh. I wish I could say I was. Oh. No, I'm not. I remember a baby. A baby? Yes, I think I had a brother. Really? I don't remember him. I didn't know that. Maybe that's common knowledge, but I didn't know that. Then. Uh oh. All right, step out of the vehicle. Just like getting pulled over. <laughs> So he's still choosing not to pick up his lightsaber. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> no. Get your lightsaber out. You know what to do. What? Interesting. But we both know he'll be standing by his side when this is over. So they're fighting for Vader's favor. So he wasn't lying about being able to Colin help people. 
yeah. that are yeah. force sensitive. Oh, sneaky. Is he? Oh. Here he comes. <laughs> and he felt it. Oh, he's so cool. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Oh, man. <sighs> oh, my lord. What? I don't know if he's afraid or if he's just drawing him further away. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's so cool. What have you become? I am what you made me. Wow. Wow. This is blowing my mind right now. Go. No. Don't leave her on her own. She's a child. I feel like Vader's just toying with him. You should have killed me when you had the chance. Hmm. Probably true. Hmm. <gasps> that symbol definitely means more to her than we think. Oh, jeez. Little payback. You will suffer, Obi Wan. Your pain has just begun. Oh, my Lord. Shoot, Tarla. All right. This is crazy. Is Reva gonna catch her? Yep. Don't take you from here. <gasps> no. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> I mean, this episode, of course, by far the best one we've had yet. I can't even believe what I just watched. I'm sorry if in this reaction, a lot of it was just me sitting here in shock the whole time and I didn't have very many reactions, but I just can't believe what I've just seen. Everything, everything from the beginning to the end was amazing. I loved this episode. I loved seeing more of Obi-Wan and Leia's relationship grow. Vader is amazing. He is amazing. I love his presence. I. Love that we got to see a bit of his ruthlessness. He's definitely pure evil. Like, I think what we're seeing right now, n nothing in there is Anakin Skywalker. Nothing. Um, he definitely could have killed Obi-Wan multiple times. I think multiple times in that end sequence when they were fighting each other, he definitely could have just killed him. But he obviously, like he said, wants to drag out his pain and suffering I think him burning Obi-Wan was like symbolic revenge. I think a little bit of payback. Like I thought he was going to say, now you will suffer as I have because that's the kind of pain that Obi-Wan caused him. The line where he says, I am 
what you made me is huge. It is huge because we know that Obi-Wan has to feel responsible for what Anakin has become. We still haven't seen Qui-Gon, but I think we're getting closer. When we see Obi-Wan at his lowest, I think that's when we're going to see him finally be able to communicate with Qui-Gon. That's just my theory. Obviously, I probably didn't pick up on everything in my first watch through, but yeah, I am so excited for the rest of this series. I can't believe we're already halfway done in just a week. We already have half of the series halfway gone. I wish this series could last forever, seriously. Wow, Ewan McGregor is amazing. Love him. I loved everyone in this episode, really. I really like how we are able to see a little bit more in each episode of what Reva's personal interest in Obi-Wan and what she's going for. I like that we're seeing a little bit more of that in every episode. I like how we're seeing that she and the fifth brother are having a bit of a power struggle. They're trying to both win favor from Vader. I was talking while Obi-Wan was looking at the wall and reading and he said Quinlan was here. And I completely missed that because I was in the middle of talking. Quinlan Boss is alive. It's canon. He's gonna come back. I don't know if he'll be back in this series, but I have a feeling we might see him on this planet that we're going to right now. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I think it's so cool that Quinlan is confirmed alive. So cool. Can't wait to see more of him. I also wanted to say, do you guys think that Reva is going to be taking Leia to Vader? Or do you think that Reva might, as a show of good faith, bring her back to Bail Organa and Alderaan? I don't know. Maybe she'll try to act like they're the heroes in this situation, try to make the Empire look a little bit better. I don't know. Or will she continue to try to use Leia as leverage? Let me know what you guys think. I love to hear your theories. I love discussing this stuff with you guys. So if you like this video, if you want to see more reactions, please like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications so that you won't miss a single video. I will be here every week for every episode of Obi-Wan Kenobi and I'll always be making more content. Thank you guys again so, so much for all of your positive feedback. I can't wait to talk about this episode with you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments down below, and I will see you next time. Bye!